Welcome back to the old Stetson Outdoors. Today, we're going into the backyard. We're gonna take dandelions, and we're gonna try them. Deep fried dandelions, dandelion fritters, whatever you wanna call it. We are uh, going them to these. Stay tuned, we'll take it out, we'll show you how it's all done. Stay tuned, you won't miss it. We're doing a two for one, weeding dandelions and taking the, the flower heads out. <laughs> yeah, it keeps the kids active. Right, Chase? Yep. Well, I was told like, I, I've never done this before, but you want to go for the big one, so... I mean, I don't know. Keep the big ones. All right, we bring our dandelions in. You want to get a little closer, Chase? These little green, peely parts, leafy parts on the bottom of the flower, you want to get them off. You don't want to... That makes it taste woody, bitter, or even a little tart. And then on the bottom of here, you want to just get rid of that stem part. So all you have left is just that. All right, now that we got them all like that, we're going to throw some water on them. And I was told when you throw water in them, to throw a little bit of salt in there with them. Soak them for about 10 minutes in salt water. In case there's any little bugs or parasites on them after you rinse them. I did rinse them. Now we're just going to soak them in some salt water. And uh, let them sit for 10 minutes. And then we'll start mixing up our batter in a deep fry them. We got our dandelions. The flowers. They soak for 10-12 minutes. Now I'm taking a half a cup of flour. Half a cup of milk. One egg. One egg. Salt. Pepper. And my favorite, rosemary. Just a little bit for flavor. Put all that in there and just start mixing. Get your batter going. Just so it's nice batter like that. Looks good, looks good. Now we'll put our dandelions back in there. Mix them up. Da -da -da -da. I hope these are good. <laughs> like I said, I didn't want to make too many just in case they're not, but we'll try them. Now we'll get our oil going and we'll drop them in. All right, we'll just take a little vegetable oil, cheap, and just get ourselves about an inch or so on the bottom, like that. Turn her on and get her going, get it hot, and we'll add it in. Okay, bear with me here. Uh, I'm trying to do this and video. I 
I was told it doesn't take long once they start going. I guess I have no expectations as to what they're going to be or taste like, so... Time will tell. Start flipping some of these so that they don't burn. This is kind of too hard to do with one hand. So I'm going to cook and stop the video. How's that? I'll come back to you after. Alright, I hope you can see they're getting nice and golden brown. So, I got the paper toweling on a plate. We will start uh, bringing them out and seeing how they look. Stay tuned. Right. <laughs> um, moment of truth. Deep fried dandelion. Honest opinion, it tastes like a potato. Wow, I'm not going to lie. I was not expecting it to taste like this. Hot, but good. Grace, get over here. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta grab one and try it. I'll grab the smallest one because you said that's hot. They're hot, but they're good. Well, you try it and tell me what you think. Aren't they good? All right. It was something we tried. Yeah. It's good. I liked them. And I liked them too. The wife says they have no taste, so opinions vary. I liked them. You liked them. Yeah. Um, just make sure when you go around and you find your dandelions that you... Uh, Get them from an area that's not treated with pesticides or chemicals or anything like that. Like our backyard, we know it's good, right? Mm hmm So, get out and try something different. You never know. You might like it, right? Yep. Until next time, grab life by the antlers. And stay hooked.